They want to make this like it's some great event. She's spectacular, fantastic. It's the must-see thing happening. But then here comes the weirdness. And here we are back with Mario. Uh, Ursula and King Triton, definitely gay icons. Watch till the end. Well, yeah. Um, while I set that Sorry. up, let's. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, they might be gay icons because Ursula is definitely pretty ugly and overweight. So that seems about well, accurate. This she, is from. She was, she was she was based on an actual drag queen in real life anyway. Um, the design was based on an actual drag queen. Well, so why did the uh... end of Disney so help in on putting? Drag queens and things. Why didn't they have a drag queen play as well? Silence well, is deafening. This is from uh, when we're going to have a conversation later. But Leslie Headland, you know, for, former assistant to Harvey Weinstein, who is uh, working uh, working on the Acolyte. Oh, exactly. if, if we have time later, we will talk about that. Um, she happened just I, I unironically happens to mention that when. She was a queer girl just hanging out with Ursula, the sea witch from Little Mermaid. As a queer girl growing up, you don't identify with the heroes and the villains show up and they're queer coded. They're like, yes, that's me. So there's that thing. They, they are working very hard right now to tell us that the Little Mermaid is whatever the hell queer coded is. And this, this story started a few months ago and they're great. They're pushing it again. I remember from a few months ago, here it goes that the little mermaid needs to honor its alphabet community legacy because, uh, it, because Hans Christian Anderson had unrequited gay love for a dude. Oh, I forgot about this. Right, it's the dumbest yeah. thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I, yeah, it's, it's they're on about the, uh, they're on about Ursula's design in which um, she was actually based on a, a drag queen at that at the time that the original animated version came out. Fine, fair enough. I get where they're coming from, but they're trying to include other things. And I'm sorry, but where's the logic? I don't see the logic in that. There, there is no logic. It's just warping something that should be wholesome. To your perverted alphabet mafia agenda. Not alphabet community, alphabet mafia, the not so secret agenda. And that's what this is. It saying that this has always been a symbol for the alphabet community in both story and movie being widely accepted by who? And we I swear we've talked about this before on this show. Where is this? This is something they've created all on their own. It's ridiculous. This is what I'm talking about. Why I said this is weird. These people, I'm going to highlight this dude's profile again. These people are weird. They look to create these situations to promote. I mean, creating this, this uh, queer coding terminology just to make it feel significant. Because otherwise, if they don't have that, they have nothing. They've built their whole lives and identity around this stuff. Queer coded can literally mean anything anymore. Like, uh, for example, there's actually a, I mean, this is about a year or two old. I, I may have mentioned this on stream before, but I'm going to mention it again. There's a new aspect of the alphabet community called semi bisexual. And you're officially queer coded if you're semi bisexual. What? No, I, and, no, I don't think we what? have talked about this. I'd remember this. What? And do you guys have any idea what semi bisexual means? Not a clue. Not oh. even one. You're you're oh. only half bisexual, so you're attracted to the same sex. Semi bisexual is the gay version of being straight. So being straight is queer coded what? now. So I wasn't kidding. Having sex with women is now oh gay. My God. So this is for people who are like allies. Brain they can damage. add. A, this is for allies who are straight can still identify as queer coded and LGBTQ plus to get all the perks of victimization from it. Just say you're semi bisexual, you get all the perks and none of the gay sex. It's a win win, I think. So yeah, that's sign me up then. That's what I put, that's what I put my dating profile. I, I'm semi bisexual. My my entire body hurts after hearing this. It's so dumb. Bisexual means 
two genders. And if you're semi, that means you're one. So you're either if you're semi bisexual, you're either gay or straight. That's literally <laughs> what it means. So you can be a straight semi bisexual or gay semi bisexual. I keep telling people like me who are tomboys and um, lesbians, which uh, no, we just no. like boy things because it's more entertaining. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, people misunderstand that all the time. Yeah, is if you have any sort of tendencies of the opposite gender, you're op- obviously gay. I've heard that a lot, like we just talking about with yeah. tomboys. Like somebody thought Melanie Mack was gay because she's a bit tomboyish. Have you seen Melanie you Mack? S- yeah, no. no. Yes, I have. That woman is fire, no. yeah. and she is straight as the day is long. Yeah, yeah. She's but straighter <laughs> than the pole their moms dance on. <laughs> Here's the, the, the here's the capper to the weirdness of this though. So a lot of people are comparing, and now we're going to steer this towards uh, the number stuff. Which now, Grump, I'm glad you're here for this. Um, Aladdin is what everybody's comparing this to because Aladdin was the last movie that came out, uh, made a billion dollars just like Fake Lion King did, and apparently <laughs> this happened last night while we were all playing one video game or another. We're talking Star Wars. Uh, so apparently the guy who played Aladdin, who nobody remembers because nobody made, 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 may have made a billion dollars, but nobody remembers this movie. Uh, he apparently come out and said this on Twitter. And we thank Geeks and Gamers channel for having this clip. Thank you. Uh, what is it? Kristen Steffer on that. Thank you yep. for allowing me to quickly access this for the stream today. Our film was unique in that audiences went to watch it multiple times. It's only way we reached a billion dollar mark with our opening. My guess is Little Mermaid doesn't cross the billion dollar mark, but will undoubtedly get a sequel. So he said that. Uh, How is their film he, unique? He's, he's have a plot. He does have a point, and at least with the Aladdin remake that we're trying to be fun in comparison to the Little Mermaid, which has horrible CGI. And there was at a, least the, it wasn't Aladdin, practical. Well, in Aladdin, they had what I'm they had proper actual sex as well, and not yeah. fully relied on CGI. Yeah, so th- there was a there was a mix, but point is, uh, how is the, oh? But taking that aside, how how is this offensive? He, it, it's it's, it's weird, like calling his movie unique. It's not, but it's not yeah. offensive, that's for sure. Well, apparently the Little Mermaid stands didn't take a liking to this at all, and he's been getting roasted since yesterday. They went at him hard. Um, delete, please. So these kinds of things, get a job, stay away from her. Is that Demi Lovato? Yep. Uh, not her official one, but okay. yeah, okay. that is a picture of Demi Lovato. Well, that's why I thought I thought it was her real thing there because it's a DD Lovato, whatever. But uh, uh, not you, not you, not talking down to Hallie and what you think Little Mermaid is going to be bring for Disney. You had your time. Please be quiet. The only reason your movie had hype was because of the Princess Jasmine, Will Smith, Zayn Malik. No one was talk was thinking about you. It, it, uh, isn't he a man of color? Is isn't he a man of color uh, or or at least yeah. of He's Arabian descent. Okay, he's a brown man. First word. He wasn't actually Arabian, but he was Arabian descent. Well, he's a brown man. man. Well, but he's a brown man, so he falls into what the category of (laughs) diversity. He falls into the category of diversity. I thought you're not allowed to be mean to. I thought when we're mean to diverse people, we're racist. But uh, this person, Queen Mahoney. Who uh, who was like many of these Halley stands? I think I think the Halley stands are, are the new Brie bots. They're the new Brie bots, if you ask me. Because you say something, they're all over the place screaming how great she is. Uh, you you just you just attack this guy, and we're we're mean to him. I thought that wasn't right. Um, uh, it goes on and on. So, but this is what happened in the end. So he said this, and then today. To be fair, he d- he did have a really good point. Um, he does have a good no point. There's no way this is gonna get, and there's no way this is gonna get a billion dollars. There's no way it's gonna get Let's that. And that. So many people have criticized it, especially the, how they've changed the songs, especially the bad CGI, which even I noticed. Um, you bring that up, yeah, and so many other things up. as well. 
Um, people, you bring up the, they're, they're only doing this for people who have no interest in these things. And that's not that's, all they're doing. That's the for. question. How is it going to, you, you brought up all the great points, Dragon Lady. Who is this made for? Who is interested in this? We've seen the ratios no on the YouTube trailers. Millions. There is no excitement for this. The YouTube thing, when you take into account the um, dislike button, how the how the how the 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 program works, how the the plugin works, where it's just a sampling, there's millions more. We're talking. I mean, Mustang and I did the math on this on Wednesday. It's probably upwards of nine million people have disliked <coughs> that trail. Nine and, million and people. Even, even people, people, I, even people I know who had, even people I know who had been looking forward to it, are saying mm, it doesn't look really good. Actually, even, even they've changed their minds. The estimated budget. Uh, I managed to find this. Uh, it took me three seconds when I researched it originally. Uh, here it uh, was. Uh, the film, the filmic. Oh, that's a lot. Two hundred million dollars. Two hundred million dollars. <laughs> It's going to be somewhere. The that means the budget's literally probably somewhere two and two fifty. We've seen this marketing campaign now in the past month. They put on a full court press, add in another hundred, hundred fifty million. So overall, when you put it all together, is it fair to say the real budget for this with production and make because it's all CGI? This mm -hmm. entire movie yeah. is CGI. Let's be conservative and say three, three to three fifty. We'll say three twenty five. I'll say three twenty five. That means it needs to hit what between seven and eight hundred million to make up to, to, to break even. Is that right? My math right on that? Yeah, that'd be a good starting point. Yeah, I think that's a little generous, but yeah, definitely um, in the right right place. Well, they need to make a shitload of money. Yes, and with the initial pushback from real fans. Because again, what we just looked at on Twitter to me is not, not, not it. It's not it. Uh, where, where, where is this money going to come from? And Grump, I'm glad you're here now because we started talking about this when we were talking about Guardian having legs. Because Guardians, it, we we talked about its surprising sort of hold this week, but next week, next week, Fast X, Fast Ten comes out. Fast Ten comes out. Little Mermaid comes out the following week. Little Mermaid is going to need to make a lot of money internationally. Well, that's something I'm kind of looking at right now with Guardians. Uh, you did see the China numbers for Guardians, forty-four right? million. Yeah, we talked. We talked yeah. about it earlier. Yeah, forty-four million. All right. So yeah, they're getting carried by China. Yep. Is this movie going to get carried by China? <laughs> oh no oh no i don't oh uh, wait chinese uh market chinese. doesn't like what you don't like black people yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh i don't see this doing as well in uh, one ball because fast 10 jed and i were talking about this earlier the fast the fast franchise does remarkably well internationally remarkably well that's why these movies make a ton of money because they make seven eight hundred million internationally it's insane fast 10 will be at the end of its first week when this launches internationally and remember remember international releases are stilted they don't all happen at the same time when the second round of releases for fast 10 happens especially in china because they love that in china this movie gets no play internationally, I think. And it's, it, I, I don't think it has international legs. And I think it's, I think, uh, I think it'll have a, I think, well, it's current on Wednesday. Mustang and I were talking about this. I had saw, I had seen, excuse me, I had seen that it was going to have a 90 million first weekend opening. In the past several days, it has gone as high as 120 million, back down to now 115. If that's the domestic opening, is that good? I mean, I don't. If you need to make seven to eight hundred million to break even, yeah. If domestically, if we're looking at two hundred to two fifty, it's decent. 
decent. They're on the right track. They're going to have no problem breaking even. But to be good, I'd say the domestic would need to be over 250 to be considered great or good or positive. I don't think. I, I yeah, because I don't think internationally this is going to carry well. That's, I that's think this I is going to have to be carried domestic. I, I think it'll be lucky to hit 300 million domestically. I think it'll be lucky to get between 250 and 300. A little more, mate. Fast 10. Boom. Uh, Spider Verse. It's coming out. Now, I don't think it's going to be as strong as the first one, but that's competition. That's real competition for the kid audience, for the young audience. That's what that competition is right there. And I don't think, I don't think it has, I don't think, again, no pun intended, I don't think this movie has legs. I don't think it has legs. I don't think it survives. I don't think it gets to the international was needed because China is not going to China's not going to pony up fifty million. We'll, we'll round up from what they spent on Guardians forty four. They're not going to pony up fifty million for this. They're not. So I think I mean so a lot of people are saying that oh it's going to make a lot of money that people go to these live action things between the competition that's coming up especially if you go into June, July, it would need to have legs into July to make a billion. And then you're running up against Flash and you're running up against Transformers Rise of Peace. Although Transformers Rise of Peace, last I heard, is not tracking well. And we're going to talk about Transformers in just a moment. I know it's in the title. We're going to get there. If you don't have the legs and you have the massive pushback of real fans who are not going to go see this domestically, and it's also everything's tied up to perception of Disney right now. This is not when Aladdin came out. When Aladdin came out, Disney was not suffering the bad PR it suffers right now. It just wasn't. It was a different thing. People were a lot more forgiving. They were they were they were lemmings and robots just going to go see shit. But now Disney is not a it's not a pleasant household name right now. So to say that Aladdin made a billion and people just go see live action movies, I do not think that's a valid argument anymore. I think there's too much shade, shadows, darkness surrounding Disney. I think that people are fed up with the agenda. I think the hardcore real fans are not happy with the way this movie looks. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now. Mostly for promotion and sharing of videos. Maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas. And you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.